Hello, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. You can perform cervical spine lateral flexion strengthening exercises with a harness chain and weight plate. That is what I am going to be describing and demonstrating in this video. You want to advance to this exercise. Please start using manual strengthening exercises for the cervical spine, then banded cervical spine strengthening exercises, then you can advance to using the harness, a chain, and a weight plate. You always want to be safe when performing any type of exercise, but especially when you're performing neck strengthening exercises. The cervical spine is the medical name for the neck. You always want to protect the neck and the rest of the spine when you are training. I am using a piece of equipment called the neck flex. This is a very effective piece of equipment and it also makes neck training very safe. I will put an affiliate link in the description box below. When you are performing any type of exercise, you always want to check with a medical professional to make sure that this exercise is safe for you. Never perform an exercise that elicits or intensifies symptoms. If an exercise elicits or intensifies symptoms, you want to stop immediately and find a viable substitute. When performing neck training, always work slowly and control the motion in both the eccentric and the concentric phases. You want to build strength in the cervical spine, being as safe as possible. Having a strong cervical spine has been proven to help to prevent and rehabilitate neck injuries. And it, it has also been proven to help to prevent concussions. Again, always work through a symptom-free range of motion and always work very slow in a controlled manner when performing cervical spine strengthening exercises. The cervical spine is the medical name for the neck. Lateral flexion is when we are bending the head to the side. Lateral flexion is also known as lateral bending. You want to make sure that the chain is secured to the harness in two positions, in the front position and in the back position. You want to be on the table so that your body is secure, but you want to have your shoulder, your neck, and your head off the table. First of all, I like to have the shoulder off the table just so I can hold on to the bench or the chiropractic table that I'm using. The weight plate never leaves the floor. Only the top part of the plate leaves the floor. The bottom part of the plate is always contacting the floor. This is a safety feature. Again, you want to move slowly through a controlled manner. Work through a symptom-free range of motion. Some people like to place a hand up on top just to secure the apparatus a little bit more, and that is fine, whatever works for you. Always make sure that the chin strap is secure. You can start at whatever number of repetitions works for you, and then build to 15. Start at your current health and strength level. Once you've completed the determined number of repetitions, then switch to the opposite side and perform the same number of repetitions on the opposite side. Again, you want to work through a symptom-free range of motion. I cannot stress that enough. Work slowly in a controlled manner. Increase the weight in small, gradual, calculated increments and increase the number of repetitions in small, gradual, calculated increments. The only motion should be occurring in the cervical spine. There should be no motion in the rest of the body. Use this exercise to help to strengthen the cervical spine muscles to help to prevent and rehabilitate neck injuries and help to prevent concussions. This has been Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic describing and demonstrating cervical spine lateral flexion strengthening exercises using a harness, a chain, and a weight plate. 
Thank you for watching today's video. Please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello, DC. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. You can visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get information on my book, which is titled Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. You can also find my blog on my website. My blog contains articles on spine health, sports medicine, health, fitness, and nutrition. Thank you again for watching today's video.